All right, everybody, happy Tuesday. Big waves to you. Good to see you. I'm 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 pretty excited. I'm getting I'm getting closer to to normalcy. You ever been gone for a little bit? You're like trying to work work your way back into the to the niche, into the groove. But uh I had a great trip and um our word for the mo this morning, and I hope Maria, Andrea, I hope Maria Long is on here. Uh, I hope she got to be here this morning because this is her word for the year. So, Maria, this is for you. The word's committed, committed. And um, the first thing I thought about when I saw the word committed, we were going to look at it today from Maria, was you guys. Every day, it's a volunteer army. Jane Roust is Alan White. No, none of you have to show up to the coach's corner this time every morning. It is a total voluntary, committed effort that you make. And I just want to applaud you, as well as applaud myself, and Andrea. Like, like, this is a committed effort. We don't have to do this. Nobody's paying us to show up every morning. But I believe they are. Think about that. I believe we will make more money in 2023. I believe we're going to have more success in 2023. I believe that we're going to do more. Maybe you're out there and you run your own company like Alan White. I believe that the company will flourish more this year in 2023 because we're committed at this time in the morning, every morning, to just look at a word for 10 or 15 minutes. I think it's that powerful. And so, Maria, thank you for the word. Feeling dedication and loyalty to a cause, activity, or a job. You're wholeheartedly dedicated. And I got two people that I looked at this morning, Neil Strauss and Jim Rohn. Neil Strauss said this, without commitment, you cannot have any depth in anything without commitment. And, and, Jim Rohn says motivation is what gets you started. Commitment is what keeps you going. And so, you know, I'm, I, I go back to my buddy, Alan White, that owns his own concrete company. And I'm like, he has shown a committed effort for years that he could take a Sunday afternoon and just drive around and look at all the jobs that people have benefited from from his group of making a committed effort of service for years and years and years. What in your life, is it your religion? Hopefully you're committed to your religious beliefs. Is it your relationships you're committed to? Okay. Cause odds are you're going to have a, some kind of knucklehead like me in a relationship that you're like, my life would be easier if I just was, if I just kind of rid of this little twerp, from my life, you know, but, but, but staying committed, there, there, maybe there's something good going to come out of it. And, or maybe it's your job. Maybe it's a side venture you've got going on. You know, so many of you do network marketing, but you do it as a, as, as, as a kind of a plan B as a second stream. And like it, it it's gonna, it's going to take a service, a commitment, a committed effort. Just like Jim Rohn said, motivation might get you started, but commitment will keep you going through the ups and the downs and the trials because we're going to get hit with trials. So here's where I went. Ways to stay committed. I just looked at a few of them. Number one, make it about you. That was the number one I found on, on, on some people's list was – if you want to be committed, make it about you. And I thought, well, that sounds kind of selfish, but I'm kind of living that right now in my own health journey. I, I, I've had to make it about me, right? How many of you have people in your life that want you to make it about what they would like for you to do? Like, like I'm saying, like, you need to do this for a living. You need to do this. You need to bring in this, like, Hey, let me give you a to-do list to do today. And you're like, I don't feel real committed to your list. Have you ever felt like that before? You're like, oh, you need to lose five pounds. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for that. I probably do. But I don't feel very committed to your thoughts of me needing to lose five pounds. But if I make it about me, this is what I'm doing because of me. Be clear on what you want to achieve. 
Number two, see beyond the goal. This is what I love. Like, like what will the goal allow me to do? So if it's finances, what will the finances allow me to do? If it's the extra money, if it's, if it's, if it's the, the body I'm changing into, what does that look like? What does that look like when I get there? Um, number three, track your progress. I say this a lot, but, but daily progress, like stringing wins together. No, I might not have the six pack abs right now, but I'm on my way to that. But I've got to have these little marginal wins daily that go, you know what? That's a step closer. That's a step closer. Maybe it's the finances that go, you know what? I don't necessarily have the big bank account. I don't have the reserve, but I'm getting a step closer daily because of what I'm putting back. Maybe it's a dollar a day. Maybe it's $10 a day, but I'm putting it back. I'm stringing those little wins together. Number four, get more accountability. I don't think that we can surround ourselves with, with, with enough accountability. And sometimes you got to seek it out. Like, like I have a person that I sought out because I wanted some accountability this year. So I actually sought out this, but I'm not saying you got to pay someone to be accountable, but, but, or to hold you accountable, but you know what? It's an option. It's an option. So get more accountability. People pay for trainers. People pay for this. Like, 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 so, so surround yourself with accountability. I believe you got to say yes, and then you got to announce it to the world, and then you got to get more accountability, right? Or at least I do, because if not, I'll just, it'll be another goal I set that I let it fall by the wayside. And then the last is celebrate every win. You know, we live in a world that's tough, it's challenging. It's, there's a lot of people that focus on the negative, not the positive. And so sell it, take life short. Life's short. How many of us lost people we loved in 2022, right? We're granted today. And so we need to celebrate every win. Like, like the biggest breakthrough people make is achieving their goals and acknowledging and, ex and celebrating the small wins. Like maybe I get a customer today. Maybe I get a rep today. Maybe, maybe I make a call today. Celebrate that win. Maybe, maybe I have a lunch appointment that comes up and I land that lunch appointment. I celebrate that win. Learn to celebrate the small victories. Okay. And I'm talking to myself, obviously, as we talk about the word commit committed. So Maria, thanks for this word, Andrew. I'll turn it to you. Well, I love that. And we, we overlap a little bit today, but I really love this one. So the quote that I found was when you're committed to something, you accept no excuses, only results. And that's Kenneth Blanchard. And I think about different times in my life when I was absolutely committed and you can see it, right? You can absolutely see it in everything you can, you're doing, but then there's other times when maybe my lips service is I'm saying I'm committed but my actions are like, I'm like, do, to do, to do, and I'm going in a completely different direction. So I love this because I looked at the different things and some difference and some the same, but how to live committed, like how can we live committed to the things that are important to us? So first of all is find a commitment device. And what in the world does that mean? It means something that you tie together. So it could be that you have a favorite television show. Like you love Gilmore Girls. I know that's Hill's favorite show. I think Anthony watches it quite a bit. Like Gilmore Girls is your favorite show in the whole world and you love it. But you tell yourself the only way you get your Gilmore Girls fix is if you do it on the treadmill. So you commit those two things together, you marry them together and that's your commitment device. Um, it could be a tracking app on your phone where like I have done it many times, the couch to 5k program. And when you don't run, it yells at you. It says it's time to take out your tennis shoes. Like it literally kind of ribs you a little bit. And so every day you're tracking it, um, track your miles, like all the different things that we can do, but find a device that reminds you or keeps you your feet to the fire. Next is recalculate your goal. 
So sometimes, you know, January one, perhaps, you know, you make this huge goal. You're going to run a marathon on January 28th and you've never ran a mile or you're going to lose 47 pounds, but you, you know, that's kind of hard to do in, you know, 28 days or whatever it may be. You've made this, you're going to make a million dollars, like this huge goal. And that can be a little daunting. So recalculate and figure out, okay, this is what I really want, but what can I, how can I recalculate it to something that I can actually achieve, you know, right now? What steps can I put into process? Number three is to take a break, which seems a little counterintuitive, but studies show, I don't know who did this study, but I think it's probably true that 80% of people have given up on their new year's resolution by the second week of February. So by six weeks in 80% of people have decided, eh, I can't do it. And then have you ever like really quit on a goal and how that feels in your shoulders and how that feels in your chest, like how you feel about yourself, then you're probably not going to achieve a whole lot because you're like this, oh, I can't do anything. Right. But if you take a break, like you get to the that second week of February and you're like, you know what? I need a day to just take a break or maybe it's even a week, but take that break. Don't quit. Just take a break so you can recommit after. Um, number four is establish a new routine. So, you know, goal progress is action is required if we're going to achieve any kind of goal, unless our goal is like to rest more, <laughs> but then we have to take action in other ways, maybe. Um, but action is required. And in order to do different action, we've got to find a way to fit it into our routine. So how do we do that? We have to create a new one. Next is build your inspiration. So, you know, do those dream boards, look at the people doing what you want. Um, Plug into Facebook groups, different things that people are doing the things that you want in your life to have that inspiration. We talked about inspiration just the other day. So go watch that one and figure out how you can get inspired. Um, keep your goals visible is number six. So again, that dream board, the picture of yourself in your cute little, I don't know, dress that you wore, who knows how long ago that you're like, wow, I was so fit there. Well, put that picture on your refrigerator or next to your treadmill, whatever it may be. Next, number seven, get social support. So find a group of people. I highly recommend you guys because you're an incredible support community, but find a way to plug in. And then I am going to end with, because there's a million, I'm going to end with this, eliminate one bad habit even if it's not associated with your goal and purely because of the confidence it gives you when you overcome something that maybe you didn't think you could overcome. So I've got a sister that's a nail biter. Like she made it to 50 biting her nails. I mean, that, so a grown lady, right? Where she, we would be sitting at a dinner table and she, nah, 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 if she got stressed enough and whatever. And I'll tell you at 53, when she finally overcame that habit. Like you should see, she's got fingernails now for the first time in over, you know, half of a century. And the way that she feels about herself for overcoming what you think is kind of a small thing, but I think anyway, it's probably a harder thing to overcome, but find a bad habit in your life. And we all have them. We all have them. Find one and let it go and build that confidence because that's going to help you stay committed to do the things that you want. So thank you so much, Maria. This was a phenomenal word to kick off the year. Very grateful for it. What is it Gilmore is, Girls? It is Hildos, a great word, Maria. So thank you for that, guys. I hope you have an amazing Tuesday. Love you so much. If you're a part of the Chalk Talk community at 12, I'm not having that today because I'm in the middle of travel. So, but, but, but we will readjourn next week. I promise I'll be back on Tuesday. So love you guys. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Have Thank a great you. day. Guys, I love Thank you. you. Thank you. Great call. Have to Google it, Andrea. Andrea. Thank you. Awesome day, Andrea. Thanks, 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 Andrea